Hey guys, Romy Super Saiyan here, back again doing another Bro Talk video. This one is a little bit more important to me because of what it's about. It's about my channel and about my family and how that kind of works together. Uh, if you guys didn't already follow me on Twitter and heard about it there, definitely check out my Twitter in the description down below. There'll be a link there. You can go to click that, follow me, and then you can kind of be in the loop of what's happening on a daily basis outside of YouTube. Uh, so definitely follow me there. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the juiciness of this particular bro talk, which is about what I wanted to talk about. Uh, so my channel. So I've always been mainly um, a Vainglory only on my main channel. And there was a stunt where like before I did experiment with a little bit of different gameplay on that channel. And it, while it could have worked out in the long run, I kind of was very prideful in the, uh, the idea that I was growing a channel strictly on Vainglory. And I still am, don't, don't get me wrong, I'm still very prideful in being able to achieve certain milestones by just doing purely Vainglory on my one channel. And then, you know, I, I separated the channels, having the second channel to do generalized gaming. While that channel is doing fine, uh, it's not growing by any means in, in an exponential manner. And will it? I don't know. It, it could potentially do it. And... I hope that someday that I could even do something like that. But right now, it seems like it's just not really pulling its weight. Um, and I love I love editing those videos. I love playing those games outside of Vanglory. Not saying I hate Vanglory. I love Vanglory. I love playing it. I've been doing it for two years, two and a half years, maybe even coming up on. Uh, I've, been, I've been playing since November of 2014, I think. So a little bit more than two years. Uh, and... That's crazy. Actually, October. I think it was October of 2014. So I've been playing for two years and two months. Uh, and that's a long time to be playing one game. And I'm still completely into the game. I, I really love what they do with it. The, uh, the updates that are coming. The updates that are coming this year are even more interesting to me because they said new modes. I'm hoping it's a 4v4. And I think it's going to be a huge stepping stone for the growth of Vainglory. But as of right now, and as of the last year... Vainglory has had growth, but not exponential growth, at least, at least, or at least in my channel. So, what that means? So, I yes, I always grow, which I'm completely appreciative of. You guys have com continually supported me, been awesome through this entire journey of growing the channel. And because of you guys, we've been able we've been able to hit certain milestones, hitting 25k, hitting 50k, then eventually 100k subscribers. Uh, and I cannot thank you enough. But at the same time, as far as the viewership, as far as the sub counts, it does not translate to enough to support a family as a job in itself. I mean, it does have some uh, burst of growth as, depending on the time of the year. Usually the holidays are pretty good because you get like high paying ads and stuff. But um, it tr through and through, it's, it's very hard to make YouTube your career. It's very hard to make it your career while being paid enough to be able to support your family and know that you guys are going to have job security for the next 10, 15 years. YouTube does not have job security. You could be famous one day and then the next day your channel just gets destroyed. You don't get watched anymore. No one watches your videos or the game you're playing goes downhill. And so your channel by relation follows suit. Uh, and as a YouTuber, you cannot keep yourself limited to one game the reason why is because then that means that your lifespan of your channel your growth is completely dictated by that game's success uh and so i've been trying to branch out i've had that second channel now where i've been doing different games final fantasy 15 some dishonor 2 and there's a lot more titles that i'm interested in that i'll be doing videos on but at the same time i'm not getting any younger i am going to be 30 years old in march and i have to really truly think about what's best not for my own prideful self saying, oh, you know, I want to have a Vainglory channel that's strictly Vainglory and I grow it through just that one game and see how far I can go. Well, unfortunately, time is not on my side. I do not have the leisure of just doing that and not even considering the possibility that maybe the game will die or considering that uh, it's, not it's not growing exponentially. So I'm never going to get to the next level. And right now, it seems like it's pretty its pretty even. It's not exponential growth. Pretty much every month, I either grow the same amount or I grow less than the last month. So for instance, say for instance, like last month in November, I grew like 5,000 subs in a month, which is phenomenal. But the month before that, I grew 6,000. So I actually had less subs added to my pool of subs and views 
than the previous month, meaning I'm making less, <laughs> you know? And then sometimes it comes back up, but then it goes back down. And uh, I think a lot of it is because, obviously, I think a lot of you guys can agree, Vainglory has had a little bit of stagnant growth or just uh, of enticing content the last year because it's been the same thing over and over. New heroes, new skins. New heroes, new skins. Uh, a new mode, but the mode was kind of meh. It was a BR, which can be fun for casual players. Uh, but those casual players who are just looking at BR probably don't look at videos to to supplement you know, their gameplay. Uh, maybe some do, but I don't think any channel is really based off of Battle Royale right now. And I don't see people really getting really interested in the game to check out videos on Battle Royale. <laughs> you know? So... 4v4 or 5v5 would be something people would be looking out for. They want to find out the new meta. They want to find out how to rotate, find out all the builds, find out the heroes that are used, so on and so forth. Whereas, so in 2017, it might be a huge stepping stone for a lot of content creators. And I'm hoping, not just me, I'm hoping that a lot of channels that are doing Vanguard content will be able to grow exponentially now. Because right now, I can guarantee you there's only one other channel maybe two that I can think of that are growing exponentially right now, and that's just because they haven't quite reached the pinnacle of growth yet, which is about once you once you get to a certain amount of subscribers, it's so far as far as my channel goes, it seems you topple off. So you get about 250 to 300 subs a day, and then it starts to topple off because now there's less of a pool of players that haven't seen your videos seeing your videos. So you get less subs you know, by relation. That's just how math works. Uh, you never have infinite exponential growth because you run out of people to watch your channel. <laughs> you know, you run out of new people. Um, that group of new people starts to shrink little by little. So, for instance, like the last year, I have really haven't had exponential growth, and that's fine. If I was thinking like strictly now, that's fine now. I'm I'm happy with that. But in five years, and I'm still the same. That's an issue. That's an issue because I need to support a family. And sure, I know a lot of you guys, well, why don't you just get a job? Well, this is my job. At the same time, if I needed to, I will get a job. If, I, if it's absolutely necessary, I will have to get a job. And I will because that will be the thing expected of me as a father and a husband. And I will do it in order to make my family happy, of course. Of course I will do that. Um, I would I would even go to like McDonald's if I have to. If that's the only job available. I would go to McDonald's and work there just to kind of supplement the, the amount of money that we need to survive. Uh, and at the same time, I don't want to have to do that. So I'm trying to make precautionary measures in order to make sure that what I do here on YouTube can continue. I can continue to do this as my job. And if I continue to do it as my job, then the content that gets pumped out daily continues. Whereas if I'm starting to have issues where like I can no longer support my family or I'm seeing that the channel is not growing exponentially, that's an issue because now I have to take time and go to another job and make money, which I will do. But that also takes me away from recording. It takes me away from making videos. And you need to have that exponential growth. Any YouTuber who is at my size probably can do okay, especially if they're younger, like their early 20s, maybe even their, you know, their, early, their late teens. They can do fine because they don't have to worry about a family. They don't have to worry about the future yet. They're still really young. Whereas I'm going to be 30 years old and I have to consider the next 10 years. I'm going to be 40 in 10 years and I, I want to be able to be at another level. I don't want to be the same. I want to be able to progress. And in order to progress, I need to adapt. And to adapt means I need to consolidate my channels for now. And so I'm going to be consolidating my channels, putting out content uh, on the same channel. So it'll be Vainglory every day. Don't worry. I've already explained this before the last time I tried to do this. But it's going to be Vainglory every day it'll be a minimum of one video and if it's only one video then it will be a vainglory video if i don't upload it won't be oh you know well i already have a video uh, i'm recording a video for like my other content but i don't have a vainglory one so i'm gonna upload the other contents no if i don't upload one day for vainglory then i'm not gonna upload for my general gaming I just it's as simple as that it's not fair to you guys so i will always have a daily video and if i don't then there'll be just a day that's skipped um altogether no uh, no content you know whatever it's like a family event going on or holidays or whatever it may be but yeah so i'm going to be having daily vainglory content and then i'm going to have daily generalized content maybe daily we'll have to see 
as, as often as I can. At least one a day for that content. So at, at most, you'll get two videos a day. At minimum, you'll get a Vangler video. Um, so that, that's how it's going to work. I know a lot of you guys are like, well, you know, I, I subscribe because of the fact that I like Vangloria. I don't want to watch your other videos. They don't entertain me. That's fine. I understand that. Um, it's not necessarily there just for you, you know, people. It's also for me to help to instigate growth. And in turn, by doing this, it also brings exposure to Vangler, which brings more players and it brings more um, uh, a larger pool for other YouTubers and content creators to, to grow into those other channels too. So it, all in all, it's beneficial for everybody. And hopefully, you know, this, this decision will be for the better, too. Uh, but it is something I have to do. I cannot be prideful in my myself as a Vainglory-only channel anymore. It's not about me. It's about my family. So I have to be able to think that way rather than think selfishly and think about, no, just Vainglory. Sorry. I, I just cannot do that anymore. I have to think about my children. I have to think about my, my wife. And so that's why I'm doing this. So that's what the big news was. Um... Hopefully, I clarified a lot of it. Uh, I know there's going to be some people who unsubscribe because, like, oh, you know, I only subscribe for Vainglory. Well, keep in mind, it's still going to be the same, just you're going to have extra content. And if you don't want to filter through that, then I apologize, but I'm thinking about my family. So that's what's important to me, my family. You guys are important to me, obviously. That's why I'm still doing daily Vainglory. But at the same time, we all know family trumps all. We all know that. If you say it doesn't, then you got some moral issues. But yes, family trumps all. And so therefore, I'm going to gear my channel towards my family and what's best for them. While at the same time, adhering to the fact that I know you guys want to have daily vainglory. And so I will continue to do that too. So there we go. My big old spiel of what's happening with the channel. I wanted to tell you guys now so you guys aren't blindsided with me just uploading random game plays of other games all of a sudden you guys were whoa what's this what's happening what's happening to this channel so now you guys know some of you guys won't even watch this so you won't even know and then you'll just complain and unsubscribe but for those of you guys who took the effort to watch this video i appreciate it and i love you and i cannot th say thank you enough for what you guys have done for me so far and i hope we can continue to be in this really intimate relationship i'm shocking in this amazing relationship between you know myself and you guys being amazing people and supporting me this entire way whether it's through just you know a view or subscribing or just you know sending me a little positive comments sometimes negative comments give me a good laugh so that's funny uh, and i appreciate that too i mean i like to laugh i like to you know find a good laugh when i'm in a, in a moment where i'm really down because something went wrong that day and it's like hey you smell like poop and i'm like Okay, it's cool. <laughs> uh, or you stink, or you suck, or whatever. And I just—it's always cool because I always come back with something a little bit uh, snarky. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I keep myself, you know, in check, and sometimes I try to be positive about it. It's like, hey, uh, how about instead of spreading negativity, we just, you know, try to bring happiness. I say stuff like that sometimes, and other times, I'm just like, is that what? Is, you know, stop telling people what your mother tells you. You know, try to be unique. <laughs> That's just me being, you know, me, you know, and hopefully that's okay. Hopefully you guys don't hate me because sometimes I get a little snarky. Um, but all in all, I love you all. Even if you guys don't love me, it's fine. Uh, just watching this video, just being a part of this channel means the world to me. And, um, and even dislikes. Dislikes let me know what you don't and do like. You know, it's, so if you like the video, then obviously I know you guys like the content. If I get a if I get a sudden burst of dislikes, I know what's going on. I'm like, okay, I release this video. What's what what's in this video that caused them to not like it? And so therefore, I can gear my content towards that. So dislikes are welcome too, but within obviously justification. I don't want to just get a, a ton of dislikes. Watch this one gets a bu bunch of dislikes. But um, yeah, I love you guys all. I love all you guys. Sorry, that's a better way of saying it in English. And uh, I appreciate the support, and hopefully we'll continue from here. And so anyways, let's talk about the next subject um, before I get emotional. <gasps> okay, uh, next subject is, uh, oh yeah, my Patreon. So if you guys are interested in the Patreon thing, I am doing rewards for that. Obviously, you guys have already heard about this before. Uh, I currently have 26 patrons. You guys are amazing patrons, patrons, patrons. It's Patreon page, but you're called a patron when you when you pledge. But yeah, so 
I mean, a lot of the rewards are starting to build. I'm starting to get a lot more uh, involved with what's happening as far as how it rewards you. So right now we're looking at, you know, I think the next thing we're trying to work at is getting skins for you guys. So for certain reward levels, we're going to have like monthly uh, skin unlocks. And if that entails just the skin itself or just giving you the ice that is equivalent to that skin, we'll do that. And that's going to be, I think right now we're looking at three people for the $5 rewards or up. And then the 25, I think, an, up, get an epic skin uh, unlocked once a month. And it's one person once a month. Uh, so, yeah. So, that's kind of how that's going down. And I've seen an amazing response to this. And I'm really appreciative of all you guys who have gone the extra mile and pledged a month. It's not required. It's just there for those who want to do it. Um, if you don't do it, I still love you just as much. I cannot love you anymore because you guys are phenomenal. You guys made my re my dream my reality. And so this is just for those people who go that little extra mile to give back. Uh, and so right now, um, I think right now we have like about two in the 25 and then one in the 100. I was like, what the heck is going on with these people? These guys are amazing. And keep in mind, any, any kind of pledge is amazing uh, uh, of equal level and value. But sometimes the little extra push is like just like mind boggling. Like, why, why would you give the hundred dollars a month to me? Like, really? <laughs> but they do, and I appreciate it. So, I want to give a big shout out to a bunch of people here. So, it's going to be the hundred dollar reward. Uh, Jim Marcus, I love you, bro. You got you are amazing. Thank you for the, the amazing support. And I'm really excited to get your rewards going. I really am. It's going to be an amazing time for you and for me too. And hopefully we can, uh, you know, be beneficial to each other through these, this reward system and you supporting me. That's it's amazing, bro. So hats off to you for being an amazing person. Then we have Allison and Paul. I'm not going to say their last names because I don't want to reveal their last names. It's entirely up to them if they want me to. But Allison and Paul, you guys know who you are. I appreciate the the twenty five dollar pledge. You guys are phenomenal. I cannot. Thank you enough. I'm going to say this over and over and over, but I truly mean it. I cannot thank you enough for the support and just the the decision to go that much into the, you know, the Patreon to put that kind of support. It's just, it, it really touches me, you know, deeply in my heart uh, and to my family too. My family, my, my wife knows about this. My children don't because they're too young, but my wife knows about this. And every time there's like a new donation, she's just like, like wow like your 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 viewers are amazing like why why do they give you money <laughs> you know just to support you like i don't get it and i was like i don't know but they do and it's it's it's, it's awesome to see that the community is just one of the best by far that i've ever experienced and so allison and paul you guys are forever going to be in my thoughts you guys are amazing and same thing with everybody else who's here we have you know the ten dollar rewards joshua and zodia the other joshua Charles, awesome. Uh, the guy's name is literally awesome. That's what his name is here. So you, you know who you are. Uh, thank you for that. I think one of these guys actually upped their pledge, so I appreciate that too. Um, again, none of this is required, guys. None of this is ever required. I'm not trying to beg you guys for your money. It's just there for those who want to do it. I, I always get donations on Mob Crush, and I was always thinking like, you know, it's cool to get donations and all, but when I just receive and there's no way for me to properly give back, I feel kind of guilty. I don't want to just take your money, you know? And so I started doing Patreon to kind of offset that. I want to be able to give back to those who decide to donate in some form. So that's kind of what Patreon's for. It's not required. It's just there for me to be able to organize and figure out who's donating and how I can give back to that person. It's not about just getting a bunch of money. It's not. I, I love the support. I really do. And if you guys were to unpledge, I would be still stoked that you guys even decided to even consider it or, you know, did before. It's it's phenomenal. Uh, and so I want to kind of make sure that you guys understand it's not about the money. It's about making sure I give back to those who already donate on Mob Crush without rewards. I want to be able to give rewards. So this is a better alternative. Because um, I don't have to do this. I really don't. I could probably just stop this, go to Mob Crush, enable, you know, make sure that my donations are still enabled. And I'm going to get donations at some point in the future. I'm not saying that it's guaranteed, but there's always a donation here and there. And that's I can leave it at that. I don't have to give back in anymore because they'll still donate, you know. But at the same time, that's not who I am. 
who I am is I want to be able to give back. I want to be able to say, hey, I appreciate you for going this extra mile. And so here we go. So yeah, uh, and then we have a bunch of $5 rewards. We have Jennifer, Jacob, Michael, Ricky, David, Elia, Jonathan, Reagan, Grant, Frankie, Prabhu, My or Mitchell, and Mystic Fox. You guys are phenomenal. And of course, we have the dollar ones. Ben, Dustin, Olivier, Carlos, and Steven. You guys, not, not, not Knox Fox, other Steven. It's a different Steven. You guys are awesome. Thank you for your support. Every little bit does count. It truly does. And I've been working on getting some rewards out for the dollar ones. Uh, some little extra rewards for the $5 ones, obviously, since we're doing that skin giveaway now. Um, and so with the dollar ones, we started to do it where I was like, you know what? We have Discord. And it was an issue for the $5 or more. But I decided that we're going to go ahead and open up general chat for those who do the dollars. Because I want to show that I'm still appreciative, even if it's just a few, you know, quarters here and there, you know, for the dollar one. It's four quarters. Four. Um, it, it truly means a lot. And I want to give back as much as I can. So I opened up general chat for anybody who donated at all. In any aspect on Patreon, you get access to um, our Discord, our private Discord, where all of us kind of hang out. And I go on there quite frequently. And we just chat. And then we also set up matches during streams. Uh, so again, if you guys are the $5 ones, we do get priority. You guys get priority in streams. You guys get to join me in voice chat during those streams if you want to, to play with me. Uh, and then obviously from there, it goes better and better and better as far as rewards. Uh, but yeah, you guys are amazing. Thank you for being amazing. Uh, I don't think I had anything else. There is some more stuff I want to announce, but I don't think it's quite ready to be announced. But there are a couple things on my list, on my radar, that I want to talk about here in the future. A lot of big uh, events happening. Not events, but like uh, projects, mind you, that are happening here. And I'm super stoked to talk about them. Uh, it says I think they're just in the process of getting the uh, the first couple feet out the door. And then once it starts to roll, then we'll go ahead and talk about it and get you guys uh, aware of what's going on in the Bangalore community in that regards. But again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this BroTalk video. Um, it was a little bit more personal. I apologize if it's a little bit long and maybe even dry, uh, but it was really important to me that I talk to you guys about this because it's you guys, you guys really mean a lot. And I want to be able to continue to do this full time. And in order to do so, I need to make decisions and also to make sure that my family is, you know, re set, set for good. Uh, and so I have to be able to, to adapt, but hope you guys understand. I still love you guys. Even if you guys unsubscribe which I hope you don't. Um, I really love you. Thank you for your support thus far, and hopefully we'll continue to go the next uh, milestone along with you guys. Uh, you guys are amazing. I love you. And uh, here we go. <laughs> Bye.